Walker, we first introduced you to Emporia Meng about a month ago. She's a junior here at Syracuse University, but she was studying abroad in New York City. Once that became the epicenter for COVID-19, she decided to get out of there and head back home to Xiamen, China. But on her flight, a bunch of people on her plane were showing symptoms of the virus, so everyone on that flight was placed in a mandatory quarantine for two weeks. But now she's out of that and she's walking the streets of China. So we checked in with her to see what that feels like. Everything is back to normal to an extent. After weeks of travel, testing, and isolation in this hotel room, Emporia Meng has finally made her way back home to Xiamen, China. The city coming back to life with malls and restaurants now open, but it's different than she remembers. If you're not wearing a mask, you'll either be kicked out of whatever area you're in or people will give you extremely dirty looks. Many still practicing social distancing and wherever they go, they have to get a temperature check. Each person also has their own digital health code. It can be read on an app which uses color coordination. They have to show their color before going into public. Green means it's okay to be out and about, but if it's red or yellow, you'll be forced to isolate. A strange new world, but one Ming appreciates now more than ever. I had lived here for like nine or 10 years, but I had never ever explored the city to its fullest extent. I've been to like maybe one or two landmarks and that was it. Mang escaped from her study abroad program in New York City about a month ago, once that became the epicenter for the virus. She's now learning back here in China, none of her friends have COVID-19 and they don't know anybody else who did either. The people that I was surrounded by in America are going through so much worse than the people that I'm being surrounded by in China right now. But the virus still lingers and freedom now comes at a greater cost. Something Meng has accepted, learning to put health and safety before anything else. So I'm just very, very appreciative that I get to be home, that I get to be with my family, that I get to walk around the streets and buy my favorite food and hang out with my now, Meng tells us she does not plan to come back to campus here at Syracuse University if classes do pick back up in the fall. Now, the university is working with international students like herself to see if they can spend their fall semester taking classes in Hong Kong.